Hello, Flor. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. I'm I'm driving my home. Okay. Okay. Well, you drive safely, okay, Flor? Thank you for letting Thank me know. In case we do an activity, I will take that into consideration, okay? Thank, Thank you, you for telling me. Hello, Yanari. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Yeah. I, I, I feel better than yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? You feel yeah. better? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me see. All right. Hello, Blanca. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Right. Uh, I was. Well, I. I... Mm -hmm. You were. You were. I was. Uh huh. Uh, no, it's not what I was. Yes. Eat, eating. I... Okay. Just I was... right now. Okay. <laughs> You were eating right now? <laughs> yeah, All right. but, but I, I just finished. All right, well, that's good. That's good. I'm glad you finished. I'm glad you're here right now. And well, hello, Fabio. Good evening, hello. Hi, <clears throat> thank you for completing the platform. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, administration has been busy today. I see they called you or they sent you a message. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised. <laughs> Normally it's like it will be for tomorrow, but they did it today. <laughs> I see they have put a, a yellow tag on your name, but I'm going to upload your grade now since you finished. So that way this will be taken off. Okay. All right, so don't Thank worry you. about that. I will upload all the grades tonight, the new ones, right? Yesterday it was 10 people that still hadn't done it, the platform, but um, I got a message from administration also that they contacted y'all. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking at the other computer and I could see it, right? I see they, uh, they spoke to you, um, I can tell you. Uh, at about 11 o'clock this morning? I think so. Yeah, I don't around, remember. Yeah, it was around that time. All right, but don't worry. I will put your grade in to, today after class. All right. Believe it or not, there are still three people that haven't done it. So how's, um, but how, how are you today, Fabio? Everything good? Everything good. Hi, teacher. All right, great, great. Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. All right. Um, yes, like I told you in the message, Carlos, when the one you sent me, yes, it shows that you are complete also. Okay? Yes, teacher. Thank okay. you. Thank okay. you for... Yes, I'm going to put your grade after, after we finish the class today. Okay? I finished. Thank you for helping me. Okay, no problem. No problem. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Yes, yes. Uh, like I was telling Fabio, uh, administration contacted me, right? Uh, remember, I had told you that a veces tengo que mandar los nombres, right? And I haven't sent any names. So they put like a little yellow tag on your name, Diana. They put a yellow, yes. they, I think they, uh, they called you or they sent you a message today or something, right? Yes, it's true. Uh, yeah, so I see the. They asked me if I needed help, but it was just, I 
just left to, to the end. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to put your grade um, after class, after we finish today, so I can put the rest in. So they, uh, you won't be showing any uh, any negative uh, signs on the platform, okay? So I will do all that today after class. So that way you will not get um, any more phone calls. Okay, let me see. Welcome everyone. Uh, Erwin, Juan Jose. And the ones that are joining. Hello, Freddy's. Okay, welcome. Good evening, teacher. All right, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing great. And today is Tuesday already, right? Today is Tuesday, and we are pretty much going to try to finish everything today and do just a little bit tomorrow and just do extra activities tomorrow. And then Thursday, we'll do the makeup class. Let me see. I'm going to share screen. Let me see. All right. Can you can you read, please, Fabio? Okay. Just give me. You need for loyalty. Loyalty pyramid part two. Mm, pyramid. 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 Okay. How to avoid double negative? Tuesday, October 19, 2021. All right, very Teacher, good. Mr. Henry, Intermediate 3, class number 24. Excellent. Good job. So we're still working on Unit 4 in regards to loyalty. And remember yesterday I mentioned to you about the pyramid, right? We're going to work on the second part. And let me see. It's on page, page 30, 39, right? Page 39. And yesterday, right before we finished class, I was talking to you about the pyramids, right? And where do you, where do you stand inside that pyramid? Let me turn, on, let me turn off my microphone over here. All right. And good evening. I'm going, to, I'm going to hello. Welcome. Thank see. you. All right, welcome. Thank you for joining. And can you read please um Juan Jose? Let me make this a little okay. bit bigger for you. Okay. Uh please. Please? Okay, thank you. Uh, you need for loyalty, you can't think of a brand you are very attached to and one to which you are familiar but not attached. Then use the descriptions of the brand loyalty pyra py uh, pyramid. Oh, yes, pyramid, pyramid. To identify where in the pyramid you are in respect to this brand, use the analysis question as a reference. Very good, excellent, uh, very good, excellent. Thank you, Juan Jose. So let me see the chat. So good evening, teacher. Okay, hello, Miguel. Welcome. All right. And we, like I was mentioning yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, welcome. We're going to do this activity and you're going to think of a brand you are attached to and one you are not attached to right but but you are familiar with it but you're not attached to it right in other words it doesn't hurt you if you don't buy something there or you don't eat there or you just don't acquire the services but then there's going to be one where you just feel the loyalty you feel you feel attracted to this product no matter what, you're going to buy it 
always, right? Like someone mentioned yesterday, Coca-Cola, Super Selectos, no matter what, you will drink that soda or you're going to shop at Super Selectos. Now, um, on my part, I can tell you that I am a loyal customer to Dell, right? If I get a laptop, it has to be Dell. That's just to give you an idea, right? Dell, right? Why? Because I, I don't know. For some reason, I believe Dell it's, it's just beats any other brand. But that is my, my belief, right? I could be wrong. Now, what, what is yours? What is yours? Is yours um, maybe a pupuseria around your house, around your neighborhood, that no matter what, no matter if they open 10 pupuserias, you will go there because you are loyal to those pupusas, right? How many of you have that loyalty? ¿Cuántos de ustedes tienen esa lealtad a un producto, to a product or a service or a brand? And that's what I want you to do. You're going to put on one side, you're going to answer these questions. Can you read the question, please, Fabio? Continue. How long? How long have you been a customer of? Um... And you uh, you put the space right here. You decide. It's, that, it's open. It's open here. Um, I, have... For example, with me, it was Dale, right? On my part. So I put Dale here, right? Because I want, I'm being honest, I use nothing but Dale. Both of my laptops are Dale. And if I get another laptop, it's going to be Dale also. Right. So how long have you been a customer of Dale brand? Me, right? I can say, ah, uh, what? For years, right? Many years. Continue, please. The second. Yes. What are the three features you love of um Dale? In this case it's Dale. Dale. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to focus on Dale for me, right? Okay. Of uh, what are the three features you love of Dell brand? All right, so you're going to ask me, right? You're asking me that because as I said, Dale, right? Como yo dije Dale, then you asked me the question, right? What are the three features you love of, of the <clears throat> Dale brand? Well, durability, recognition, and I think uh, uh, the, the quality, right? Mm -hmm. The quality, right? And would you recommend, uh, continue please? Will you recommend Dell? That's all. Very good. <laughs> Would you recommend? And then two. Will you recommend Dell to brand new friends or, no, or family? Dell, Dell brand. Dell brand to, to friends or family? Very good. Yes, I would, Fabio. I would. I would always recommend it. Always to friends and family. Continue. Will you be willing to pay more to enjoy, to enjoy more benefits from Dell brand? Absolutely, right? <laughs> so what does that tell you? I'm a loyal fan, right? I'm a loyal fan of Dell. So you see, we just did something, me and Fabio, right? Or Fabio and I. Now, you're going to put the brand or if you want a service, you can change the state of brand. You can put a service like pedidos ya or something, right? Whatever, whatever other service you decide. It could be a communication service. It could be a delivery service. It could be uh, some people, believe it or not. I don't know, maybe someone can disagree with me. There are some people that have loyal taxi drivers. They are, right? How many of you know people that tienen su propio taxista, that they, no matter what, they don't go look for taxes, they just call. Eh, come pick me up, yeah, yeah. How many of you know people like that? I know a few, right? That they are loyal. They don't go and look for other taxi drivers. They have personalized one, right? Now, what about you? What about you? What me and Fabio just did is what I want you to do in pairs. You're going to be in small groups and you're going to ask each other these questions the same way Fabio asked me. And 
What about a brand or a product I am familiar with but not attached? I'm going to ask Fabio. Now I'm going to ask you, Fabio. Are, we, are you ready? Okay. Okay, this is a product over here on this side. Over here on this side is you're familiar with it. You know the product, but you're not attached. All right. You're not you're not loyal to that product. All right. Can you give me an example? How long have you been a customer of? What is your brand? Uber, like Uber. Okay, very good. So we put here Uber, right? I want to put Uber. All right. So how long have you been a customer of Uber? Service, right? This is a service, right? Uh, signs. When entered here in Salvador, I don't remember. But since 2018, I think. Okay. Are you satisfied with Uber? I put Uber here. Are you satisfied with the uh, with Uber services? Yeah, I think from the driver uh, service they, that are here in Salvador is the best and it may sometimes leave you with a bit disappointed because sometimes they don't receive uh, payment with tar targets, tar uh, with credit cards. Okay, credit cards so, or debit cards, right? Or debit cards, right? Okay, very good, very good. Would you recommend, and I will put here, he mentioned over, right? Would you recommend Uber services to friends or family? Yes, I will recommend them. If it's okay. a bit more secure than the other ones. <laughs> okay. Will you be will you be willing to pay more to enjoy more benefits from Uber services? No. <laughs> no. All right. Very good. Excellent, right? That's the honesty, right? Very good. Very good. So we just demonstrated two different perspectives, one from Fabio and then my personal one here. But you are going to do both, all right? Cada uno va a ser ambas. You're going to do both. Each one of you is going to do both. So I want you to start deciding both, both, both blocks on each side which brands or services you are attached to and one you're familiar with but not so attached and then i want you to put yourself in the pyramid remember yesterday we saw the pyramid right yesterday we talked about the presence the relevance the performance the advantage and then bonding on page 38 on page 38 of your book so I want you to put yourself in each one of these. Where are you? You can put like, um, for example. Teacher, I have a question. Teacher, mm -hmm. I have a question. In that case, you say Dell, right? Yes. So in the other side, let's say like in SAP, we have to be similar. So you say Dell, let's say in the other side has to be like HP or Getaway. Ah, uh, yeah, you can use two different types of uh, it doesn't have to be like totally different. You can use two different brands. Okay. You can okay. use you can use it that way. No problem. And then you will put here, for example, this will be for myself, right? Dell, definitely bonding. I will be here on the top of the pyramid. Where would you put yourself at, Fabio, with this Uber? Would it be advantage, performance, relevance, or presence? Presence. All right presence so here at the bottom all right so he will put himself as here presence and then for for me it will be funding like that okay only two you, you're not going to do the, the whole pyramid you're going to put yourself where do you stand where are you in the pyramid are you up here in the 100 percent bonding or you are the least here in presence 
or relevance, performance, or advantage. Right? One is attached and one is not attached. Any questions? Any questions in relation to this activity? You're going to do it in groups, right? But uh, teacher, I have a question. Okay, Carlos. Okay, for example, I, I don't understand very well. For example, we have to choose some word uh, that is in the page and we are going to put in the pyramid. When I have, when I have choose or, or run, for example. Yes. Okay, when you choose a brand, this side right here, this side right here, Carlos, in este lado, in this side, yes. you are going to put the brand or a service or a business that you are attached, very attached to, right? In other words, está bien pegado al producto o al servicio, okay, Carlos? You're going to put okay. it here or al comercio, right? Like loyally. Like what? Loyally. Loyally with the brand. Mm. Um, yeah. Loyally brand. Fielmente a una empresa, digamos, cuando uno prefiere una empresa. Yes, yes. Yes, you can, you can use a brand name, you can use a company, or you can use a service, okay? Okay. And then you put it here, okay? Here it says brand, 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 right? But if you notice when I did it with Fabio, I said service because it's not a brand, it's a service, right? It's a service. So all you do is change the word from uh, are you satisfied with Uber services, right? Okay. Depends on the person you are with what they decide, right? Fabio decided Uber. I decided them, right? So you decide which one will be your your attachment and which one is not so attached, but you are familiar with, right? You know the brand or you know the product or you know the company, but you are not attached to it. And then when you do both, when you finish both, then you decide on this side, what stage of the pyramid are you relating yourself to? Is it bonding? Is it advantage? Performance? Relevance? Or presence? And you're going to do the same with the other block. You're going to connect it with one of these. Now, it cannot be bonding. This side cannot be bonding, right? Because this one is not attached, not attached. So therefore, este lado no puede ser bonding, right? It cannot be bonding because este lado is not attached. This one is attached. But you can also say, well, teacher, I really don't have a, a product or brand or, or, or service that I'm just so attached to. Well, you can go to the next stage right here. You may not have bonding, you might have advantage. Look at what we saw yesterday. Right? What is the definition of advantage, right? As customers are beginning to associate the brand with their emotions, with their sense of self, right? You can put yourself here. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Thank okay, you. Carlos, thank you for asking. Any other questions? Any other questions? Teacher. Yes. C Sears is a brand. Mm, or or not? It, it's because Sears you is have a store. It, it's a store. So but you, you can, can go to Siman and you can go to Sears and you you would prefer one of these. Yeah, so you would so are you going because of the brand or are you going because of what they sell? I'm going for the service. Ah, entonces es la tienda, right? Yeah. No es sencillamente la marca. 
right? So it wouldn't be a brand. And then Sears is not a brand. Well, if, but Rolando, Sears, la palabra Sears, sí es una brand, right? Pero en sí, usted no va a decir, quiero la marca de Sears. Yeah. O quiero la marca de, de Simán, ¿verdad que no? No. No, entonces no es una marca. O sea, si es no. una marca en sí, right? Eh, legalmente, legally, economically, in the business world, it is the, the logo itself, right? But when it's you go shopping, store. when you go there to shop, you're not saying, yeah, quiero el producto de Simán, porque no es así cuando uno entra, right? Now, you're going there for the it's a store, it's a, it's a store, it's una, una company, una empresa. So, it's, in a, it's, it's another situation with Claro and Tigo and Digicel. Is the same situation? That, that's a service. It's a service. Yes, that's it's a brand. A, yeah, Claro en sí es un brand, right? Porque cuando ellos te dan el teléfono, dice Claro. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, if, okay. Teléfono, but if you get the phone like this one right here, when the vendor says, Can you see my phone? Yeah. Right? It says Claro here. No, you say like uh, Panasonic or anything. It just says Claro. They, they give you their own brand, right? And, mm -hmm. and, uh, oh, that's delicious. <laughs> right? So that's different. They're giving you a service. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. uh, because you're not buying. Yeah, they're giving you the product, but you're getting a service, right? Porque en cualquier momento uno lo puede cancelar. Es un servicio, right? Y ellos también se lo pueden cancelar. Versus when you go to Sears, it's not really a service because when you buy it, ya es suyo. Mm -hmm. All right? Es yeah. Claro, and all this, there's services. They provide a service for you to use if you want to, right? You don't have to, but at any time, in cualquier momento, you pueden cancelar el service, right? If you don't pay, but if you go to Sears or Simon, you buy something, yes, suyo. So you're buying, it's a store, okay? Now, some people might say, yeah, I like to go to Simon, I like to go to Sears because they provide good service, but in realidad, you're going there shopping, right? By, by the compras, you know, when you go there. Right? And those are the differences, Rolando. Pero en sí, la palabra, the word itself, it's a brand, right? Because you can say, claro, te digo, right? The logo, the brand, the slogan, those are our brands. But when you go there to Sears and Simon, you don't go buy Simon product. You go buy whatever they're selling. Okay, Rolando? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, thank I, you. Thank I, I you. Hope I hope I clarified some doubts there. No, no. Yes, yes, I'm clear. Okay, very good. Thank you, right? Thank you. Now, um, let me see. It will be okay. Some of you might decide a car. A car. Ahí sí es una brand, right? Porque uno dice, no, yo quiero un Toyota. Va usted por la marca, right? That's the brand, right? It's not a service because they're not giving you service, right? And so it's not a company, right? Because you're buying the car, you just want the, the brand, the product, all right? So if you decide on a brand, it will be something like this, Toyota or Nissan or, or any, other, any other brand that you decide, Nike, right? Nike or Polo or whatever, right? Now, any other questions? Thank you, Rolando, for asking the question. Any other questions? You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, now I'm going to take the first attendance. Okay, let me stop share. All right. Okay. Okay, Abigail. Okay. No answer. Beatriz. Present. Thank you. 
blanca. Blanca. Present, present. Okay, thank you. Brenda. Okay, Carlos. I'm here, present teacher. Okay, thank you. Diana. Present. Thank you. Edwin. Present. Okay, thank you. Flor. Flor. Okay, no answer. Francisco. Present. Okay, thank you. I'm here, Tisha. All right, thank you, Freddy. And Glenda. Present, teacher. All right. Thank you. The Iris. Present, teacher. All right, great. Jackie. Present. Thank you. Jarvin. Jarvin. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. All right. Juan Jose. I'm here. Great. Awesome. Miguel. Present, teacher. All right. Great. Fabio. Present. All right. Rolando. Present. Okay, great. Janari. Here. Okay, thank you. All right. Let me see. All right. Okay, let's continue. Let me see. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put you in groups and you're going to elaborate this activity. Remember, you have to do both, both parts, right? Both parts. And I'm going to give you a, a recommendation. Okay. For for those that will continue, para aquellos que continuarán with the next module, um, I'm going to ask you. This is an advice. Este es un consejo para ustedes nomás. Right? Try to print. Traten de imprimir eh, cuando le llegue el el, el libro. Right? That is my recommendation. Whether I will be your teacher or not, ya sea yo su docente o no, and that is my advice. Siempre lo doy a todos los grupos que les doy clases. Se les facilita más el aprendizaje. When you have this printed, because you can write on it. All right? You don't have to be writing everything. Okay? That is my advice to you. If you can print it, they charge like two fifty or $2 to get it done. And you can um, at the most and have it in physical form. Okay, now I'm going to put you in groups. Let me see who cannot do this activity in pairs. Okay, I know one that can't. All right, all right, so that means everyone can. Todos pueden hacer la actividad en pares, yes. Yes, okay, only one person here can't. Right? Yes, yes, yes. All right, no problem. I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. All right.
Uh, room number one, I'm going by what is shown here, Beatriz and Blanca. Okay, room number two is going to be Diana. And I'm going to put you with Jarvin. Okay, room number three is going to be Freddy's and Edwin. Number four is going to be Iris and hello, Glenda. Glenda? I'm here, teacher. Okay, I want to put you with Iris. Okay, right. thank you. Jackie, you're going to be with Juan Jose and Jennifer, you're going to be with Fabio. Miguel, I'm going to put you with Rolando and group number eight. Francisco, I'm going to put you with. Carlos. Okay, Janari, I'm going to put you in. Hmm. Falta uno. Por ever I love. All right. What happened? Okay. I'm going to put you with. Yes. Rolando. All right. There you go. Okay, everyone. One, two, three. Okay, Brenda, you stay with me in, in the main session, okay? So if you can hear me. All right. One, two, three. You can share screen also, okay? I have a, a loud. Hello, Beatriz, you're by yourself. What happened? I don't know what happened with Blanca, teacher. Maybe she has a bad connection. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give her like maybe 30 seconds to reconnect. <laughs> because, okay. Because I don't want you to miss this uh, activity, okay? If not, I'm yes. going to put you in another group, okay? Uh, okay. Who, who would you who would you prefer to work with? What group? Um, in um, Diana Jarvin, Edwin, Freddy's, Glenda, Iris, Jackie, Juan Jose, Jennifer, Fabio, Miguel, Rolando, and Janari, or Carlos and Francisco. With Jackie. Okay, Jackie. Okay, I will put you there with Juan Jose. All right, okay. I will put Thank you, you there, okay? No problem. Thank you, teacher. All right. What happened? Okay, I sent, I sent you Beatriz, okay? Okay, welcome Beatriz. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <That's> a surprise. <laughs> yes, it's a surprise. Hey. Okay, it's yeah. a surprise. I will leave you here to work, okay? Ya me voy. Okay. okay, Thank you.
हेलो फ्लोर हेलो टीचर आई लॉस द कनेक्शन ओके वी आर डूइंग द एक्टिविटी ऑलरेडी अम लेट मी सी आई कैन पुट यू इन अ ग्रुप मे बी यू कैन ट्राई टू मे बी लिसन टू व्हाट दे हैव टू डू बिकॉज और यू कैन डू इट इफ यू हैव टाइम ओके But I'm going to put you in a group and see what um what you can do, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. Okay, there it is. Comment to someone that that doesn't grow any beer. <laughs> beer. Um. Would you be <laughs> willing to pay more to enjoy my benefits from the brand? No, I usually buy the normal set for just shaving my. <laughs> I love them. Hi, teacher. Hey, hello. Hello. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello. We are talking about the the product of Pizza Hut. Ah, okay. All right, great, great. With Iris, huh? Yes, teacher. Hello, Iris. Hello, teacher. 
they called you today, right? Mm -hmm. They sent you a message, Iris? Yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, veo que han puesto uh, highlight su nombre aquí en la, en la plataforma. Yes, I, I, don't, I don't finish the, the exam. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, but no más falta usted. No más. Right. Y una persona más, uh, two more people, that's it. Okay. Right. So try to finish, y, y ya poniéndole la nota, se le borra la, la etiqueta que le han puesto. Ok? Ok. So try to, try to finish it, y así evita que le vuelvan a llamar. Ok? Ok. All right, because I'm just, nomás para, para darle, para ayudarla, ok? If you have any questions, si tiene alguna duda or whatever, please ask me, okay? Okay, teacher. Sorry. Okay. No problem, no problem, okay? Ahí nomás eh, recordándole nomás, porque la puedo ver aquí que le llamaron hoy eh, a las casi a las 11, right? De la mañana. Sí. All right. So, okay, continue. Okay. Thank okay. you, teacher. No problem. For the for the first for the first box, you will select bonding, advantage, mm -hmm. performance, and relevance. Yeah, in my mm -hmm. case, I select bonding because I really I really like PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, and <laughs> what a reason. And <laughs> For the second brand, I select relevance because sometimes I eat uh, Domino's, but, uh, mm -hmm. but it's not it's not better for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I prefer another okay. another brand okay. of pizza. Yeah, and he's he's getting paid a thousand two hundred a month. A thousand two hundred. 
Yeah. But pro probably that account is a is like premium or or he knows another language like German or Portuguese. No, no, just just, just English. English. Yeah. Seriously, damn yeah. a lot. Good salary. It's a good salary. Yeah, that's that's the way. That's the the reason why we are trying to be here. You know, to try to perfect um perfect. Es como perfeccionar your English, no? How do you say per uh, perfectionate? Perfectionate. Perfectionate. Uh -huh. All right. Yes, right. Yes. It's all about practice, 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 right? Practice. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, <laughs> we are, we already we already finished the whole, the activity, teacher. That that's the reason why we are talking about another topic. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Communicating yeah. and, and speak, right? Continue mm -hmm. to speak. Or we're almost finished. Did you get the message where I said one minute? Yes. Yes, yes I, I okay. will receive it. We'll okay, receive great. It. Thank you. Oh, teacher. yeah, we're, we're almost finished. I just wanted to see how y'all were doing. And mm -hmm. yeah, as you can see, we're closing it down. So I'm going back, we're going back to the main session, okay? Good. Perfect, perfect. All right. Hello, Abigail. Hello, teacher. Hi, welcome, welcome. Okay, Thank you. all right, they're coming all back. Okay, hello, welcome back, everyone. Okay, I hope you did a lot of speaking, a lot of conversation with your partners. I hope you finished the activity and you got to, to express your brands or services or company or whatever you chose right whatever you chose anything in particular that maybe you were like what any surprises beatriz i see you're smiling yes jackie surprised me what what happened tell us dun, 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 dun. Uh, she she shared with juan jose and me um, her favorite cream for hands and body and body is Lubriderm. Lubriderm, yes, it's a very good. That's it's, a, it's the favorite. The that's yes. From yes, skin. very good brand. Very good. Her brand. her mother bow bow when she was a, a child. Yeah. He, and he and he and she continued to use with with her family. Exactly, exactly. Luberderm, yes. I bought Luberderm. It's, it's a very good brand, very good brand, right? I think it's probably, yeah, one of the best, right? One of the best. Yes. There are also others, but Luberderm is on the top, right? I've used it before, especially in cold weather. In ambiente frío, right? In cold weather, like when it snowed and it was cold outside, I would, like, whenever I travel, I would use Luberderm, right? And it will keep me... It will keep my skin soft and moisturized, all right? Not dry, it makes it makes it nice, right? Very good, yeah, very you good. You can buy in different presentation and this product uh, provide a solar protection. Exactly, it has UV protection, right? Exactly, very good. Anyone else that would like to share something? Thank you, Beatriz. All right, any surprises? Like Beatriz, anyone else that would like to share something? Yes, teacher. All right, Francisco. Uh, yes, Carlos and me, we talk about the, the two brands. Uh -huh. Samsung and Huawei. Okay, <laughs> all right. So. But um, uh, a little point uh, is that the with the case of Huawei. Okay. Yes, so, because they they were acu accused of espionage or espionage. Uh, okay, espionage. Mm -hmm. But uh, Carlos, um, um, I, and me. Okay. We are according that the maybe in this case maybe it's a a method to to stop the expansion of Huawei. Okay, that, that was, they had a little bit of uh, legal issues, right? There was yes, some legal with the issues. USA. Yeah, with the USA. And, uh, mm -hmm. Because Donald Trump, in, 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 
in this uh, moment for days? Mm, repeat, please. Uh, do, do, Donald Trump in during mm -hmm. during her, uh, her period of with his. a president. His sorry, his is correct. His period of, with a president to the USA uh, a, accused to away for espionage. Yes, espionage. But maybe it's a method to stop the expansion of Huawei in the world. Yeah, it, it, that, that's, that's an, it could be, right? It could be, right? We never know, but those are all possibilities, right? Those are all mm -hmm. possibilities. Great, great, awesome, awesome. Okay, okay that, was, that was an activity, that was a communicative activity for you to hear other ideas and other points of views and be able to communicate and talk with your classmates and continue growing in the English language, right? With topics of this nature that are related to work and business, right? Work and business. So very good, very good. Anyone else? Anyone else before we go to the second attendance? Before we go to the second attendance. All right, let me see. All right. Let me see, Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. Um, Beatriz. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca. Okay, she told me she lost connection. Beatriz, she had lost connection, that's why she couldn't reconnect with you. Yes. Okay, let me see. Brenda, okay, sure. Carlos, I'm your present teacher. Okay, great. Diana, present. Okay, thank you. Edwin, present. Okay, thank you. Flor, present. Okay, thank you. Francisco. Present teacher. All right, great. Freddy's. Yes, teacher. All right. No, no. Linda. Present teacher. Right. <laughs> it is. Present teacher. All right. Let me see. Jackie. Present. Okay. Jarvin. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer? Present. All right, thank you. Juan Jose? Present. Okay, thank you. Miguel? Present, teacher. All right, thank you. Fabio? Present. All right. Rolando? Present. All right. Janari? I'm here. All right, great. Perfect. All right, let me see. All right, only Blanca's not here right now. Okay. Let's continue. Now, aside, aside from the pyramid, we are going to continue with the next part. The next part is, well, <clears throat> you can say grammar, right? But it's, it falls under that category. Okay, I believe so. But it's related with neg negatives, right? Negatives. So go to your manual. Let me see, go to page. 
Go to page 36. Page 36. All right. Now we're going to focus with page 36 and 37. All right, 36, 37, and we should be almost complete. For tomorrow, we will do page 40, All right? Tomorrow, we'll do page 40. All right, it's just a reading activity and some other activities that I have for you. But other than that, we are pretty much finished, All right, except for the makeup class that we have to do for unit. Unit three, right? Let's um. Okay, let me continue. Okay, uh, on page page thirty six, we're just going to read first, and then we're going to do page thirty seven. But first, I need someone to read, please. Um, let me see. Me, teacher, I want to participate. Okay, thank you, Abigail. Please proceed. I will be able to discriminate effective from ineffective ways to increase brand awareness. Okay, very good. Continue. What? What's the best way to get customers attention towards your product how would you define ineffective and effective ways to increase awareness okay let's 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 ask that question let's ask that question how what is the best way to get customers attention towards your product for example if you if you remember those products that you created or services that you created. You remember those, those activities that you had to do the presentation? What do you think should be the best way for you to get the attention of the customer? Could someone give me some brief? I want something brief, okay? Something brief. What, what would you do or how would you do it? Anybody? I, I think the, the, the best way right now actually are the social media or television. You can offer your product there. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Any other suggestions? Beatriz? Maybe offer or provide a different service than the competitors. Okay, very good, very good alternate right do something different very good excellent any other points any other points maybe in the same way you have to have a, a good promotion for your product okay very good promotions right yes that always attracts people right <laughs> that always attracts people very good very good very good points anyone else Anyone else? How, how will you get the attention of the customers? Anyone else? Okay, let's continue. Let me see. Can you read, please? Um, okay, yes. Please, okay. Olivia. Olivia and Leo are brainstorming ideas about branding for Olivia's online business. Read the conversation and take turns practicing. All right. Practicing, practicing it. Very good. Excellent, Jennifer. Very good. So we have Olivia and Leo, right? Or Leo, right? Are brainstorming. Brainstorming. That means they're thinking, right? Eso es lo que significa brainstorming. Brainstorming. That means they're just thinking like, hmm. What should we do, right? They're brainstorming. They're trying to acquire ideas, right? That's what that means about branding for Olivia's online business, right? So she's doing an online business. So um, I'm going to select Diana, raise her hand. Hello, Diana, would you like to be Olivia? Yes. Okay, who would like to be Leo or Leo, right? Sir, I want to practice. Okay, go ahead, please, yes. Okay, you okay. Can go ahead, Olivia. 
I I look like Olivia. <laughs> I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branded or marketing. Okay. Or you mean you don't? Sorry, you mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To the start, you could have stopped changing the logo of your business. I noticed you change change it at least five times last week oh and fix the spelling in, in your slogan design happiness. That's not correct. Okay. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it makes it look original. <laughs> okay. Do you mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. That will help you with the business. All right, they will help you yeah. with the business, right? So she really needs it. <laughs> All right, designing happiness, right? That's not correct, right? <laughs> All right, so um, what do you? Right, we have here a conversation, right? But if you notice, there are some negative words here in bold, right? There are some negative words. I want you to just analyze them, all right? Just analyze them. Don't worry about them because we're going to practice them together, okay? But I want you to just look at number one and number two at the bottom. Can you read, please, um, Edwin? number one okay pair, pair, read the pair work okay pair work read the conversation again write the corrections leo leo made to olivia's sentences i don't know nothing about branding or marketing and I, I i never noticed nothing about the expelling state all right okay so it says here I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. What do you, can you make the corrections there? Anything. Okay. Can you read it then, Diana, for us? I don't know anything about branding or marketing. Okay. I don't know anything. Okay. Let me write it here. What she just said. I don't know anything about branding or marketing. Okay, very good. This is the correction. If you notice, I don't know nothing, nothing. You cannot have two negations. No existing two negations in the English language unless you are using two different sentences or two, uh, two separate clauses, right? But just on one sentence, one statement, you cannot have do not. It doesn't significa do not, right? Don't. And then no here. Two negatives, you cannot have. And don't worry if you're like teacher, well, maybe you can explain it a little bit more. Yeah, I have a lot of activities for you. Don't worry about that. I just want you to start getting familiarized with what I'm saying and just visualize, visualize. Thank you, Diana. Um, that is correct. It's anything. I don't know anything. You cannot say I don't know nothing. No, no, I don't know anything anything don't worry don't worry I, I know some of you are probably like mm, right but let's continue with number two who wants to do number two this is correct what diana said me teacher i try okay go ahead rolando I never notice anything about that spelling mistake. 
Very good, excellent. Nothing, uh, anything about? That spelling mistake. mistake. Very good, that is correct. That is correct. Now, here, there is a no, no hay una palabra no, right? But the word never, it's already a negative word, all right? Never is already a negative word. So you cannot say nothing, nothing, just the word no. It has the word no. You, ne you cannot use it in English, two negatives in the same sentence. Now, I know I'm just speaking, I'm, I'm just asking for opinions, and trust me, I want to do some activities with you so you can better understand what I'm referring to. I have a question for the class. Okay, Rolando did it perfectly. Diana did it perfectly. Is everyone able to do it also without any mistakes? ¿Alguien aquí tiene alguna duda? Any doubts with double negations? Or you're clear about it? Okay, let's verify. Uh, uh, excuse me? Mm -hmm. In the in the first sentences, Olivia, for example, I am trying to say that unlike business selling, um, had made dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. And Leo say, say, you mean you don't know anything? Is uh, it was co correction? It was uh, say a uh, correction about the don't know nothing in the first sentence? Yes, exactly, exactly. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? Yes, he's actually correcting her, right? All right. Very good observation, Juan Jose. Very good. That is correct. Very good. Now, I hope you write. Maybe if you don't have it written, please write the correct answers here for the uh, part three here. Part three, because we're going to do some activities. I'm going to analyze your performance. Okay, so do your best. Do your best. Let me see. Now, this is the page in your in your book, right? But I want to see something. Quiero hacer una pre-evaluation. This is a diagnostic evaluation. Okay, esto se le llama diagnostic evaluation when you do something where you should already know a little bit of it from past English classes. I'm going to leave this here. Voy a dejar esto aquí. I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to let you do it without me helping you. I want to see how much you know. Okay, I want to see how much you really can do on your own because after this, then we can do this and then we have this other activity, okay? And then we're going to do it together. But first, um, can someone read the, the rule to remember, please, um, Fabio? Okay. Uh, rule to remember. A double negative is a statement containing two negative words it is not part of the standard English and it, its use should be avoided. Very good. Avoided. Avoided. Very good. Should be <clears throat> avoided, right? Now, a double negative is not part of standard English. There are people that do say it, but that is not proper English. Okay? That is not standard English. That is what you call chopped up English, right? Or half English, right? As far as grammatical structures or sentence structures in this case. 
Can you read, please, Miguel? Here, mo monster. Monster double negatives. Okay. Uh, direction. Circle, circle the coded word for each sentences. Watch out for double negatives. Very good. All right, so you have like the little monsters up here, right? All right, so look at these sentences. Mm -hmm. I just want you to analyze the words and look at the first one. We can do the, the first one here in class. Can someone read it for me or would like to do it for the class? I'll do it. Okay, go ahead, Freddy. The baby monster can scare anyone yet. All right, can't scare anyone yet. All right, very good. The baby monster can't. We have a negative here. Yes. So you cannot use no again. You cannot you use anyone yet. Repeat it again, please, Freddy's. The baby monster can't scare anyone yet. Very good. Excellent. Very good. That is number one. So in this case, what I want you to do, you do not have to write the whole sentence. If you want to, you can. Just take get a C. If it can help you, do it. But if you like that, ah, that's fácil para mí, then just send me the answer. But I want you to be honest with yourself. Okay, quiero que sea honesto con sí mismo. If you really do not understand to the fullest, write the whole sentence, okay? Try to write the whole sentence. But if you can do it without, then just send me the correct word, okay? Send me the correct word. And we're going to give time to the ones that are writing a little bit of, a uh, little bit of time to send it, okay? There are 10 read carefully this is a diagnostic analysis uh we are going to send you but only the word course okay only the words if you feel that you can do it without writing the sentence okay this is easy for me then you can just send me the words the answers but if you honestly feel like mm, debería escribirlo todo, please do it okay Please do it, but you can send me either or, Juan Jose, either the sentences or the complete sentences. I mean, either the answers or just the, everything complete. Okay? Okay. Okay, it's up to you.
I have a question for the class. This is for everyone. Slime. Can someone tell me what it means in Spanish? I, I know. Slime is. I know. Yeah. I know the slime, but I call it <clears throat> slime too. <laughs> in okay. Spanish, I call it slime. <laughs> okay. Right. This is a very distinctive word in, in, in American vocabulary okay it's, it's like um baba for us okay okay but hmm. uh, okay can you flor are you referring to baba like in the mouth in the boca no like baba for example from the i don't know how to say los caracoles okay yes that could be that is slime also that that they leave that trail right Mm -hmm. Caminito, right? <laughs> but, uh, I'm not sure. Yes. I... <laughs> yes, right? Yes. Very good, Flor. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. And and also slime is sometimes in refrigerators when there's like a lot of moisture. Se acumula como algo pegajoso, right? In refrigerators or different places of cooking, right? Like different mixtures of oils and stuff like that. Um, believe it or not, the, the FDA in the United States, the Food and Drug Administration, they, they oversee a lot of the restaurants. And if there is like a little bit of slime in the, in the ice machines or in cooking areas, they get fines. They get fined, they put in multas, right? They put fines. So, all right, thank you, Flor and Blanca, for your input. That is correct. Slime. This is slime right here. <laughs> the green one. I have a Freddy. Did did you receive the message from uh, administration with the information for the uh, for the survey? Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. That's for Thursday, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so that means if you got it, everyone else should have gotten it, right? Fabio, did you receive a message from the ministry? Okay, class, I want to ask something. Uh, did you receive the message? Did you get it through email, Freddy? Yes. Oh, I, yes. Had, I got it on email. email and on WhatsApp too. Okay, all right. So did everyone get the information for the survey? <laughs> Alina, yeah. keep... okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, I got teacher. It. Good morning. yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Great. All right, remember, porque si hay alguien aquí que no lo haya recibido, le puedo gestionar eso con administración. Right? Porque es lo que yeah, vamos teacher. a usar el jueves. Si no lo tienen para el jueves, then ahí no sé qué le voy a poder decir. All right? So please, denme en verificación de que, de que si no lo han recibido, please notify me, ok? And I will help you make sure you get it. All right? So I hope everyone got it because that is the information that we will use on Thursday. El jueves lo vamos a utilizar esa información. Okay? On Thursday.
Okay, I'm receiving some right now. Great. Great. Okay, you eliminated that one. All right, let me see. Okay, Blanca, I got yours. Okay, Diana. Yes. Okay, I got yours. Okay, Freddy's, I got yours also. So two, four, two, four, six, seven. Okay, I got eight, nine. The nine, ten. All right, eleven. Okay, let's continue. What well, we're was going great. to do, we're going oh, to. Oh, you're gonna check it out later. Excuse me? Uh, the activity? No, we're gonna check it out later. Oh, no, we're going to do it right now. Okay. <laughs> we're going to do it right now. I just want to see how many people have finished. So the majority, oh, okay, okay, okay. the majority has finished. So now we can begin. Okay, Diana, go ahead and begin, please, for us. Number two. Okay. Um, the first one it says the baby monster can scare anyone yet. Okay. All right. We did that one. Continue. Um, the number two. I can find my bu bucket of a smile anywhere. Okay. Anywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Number three. I didn't do anything, I, say the monster. Okay, I didn't do anything, said the monster. Rah, rah. All right, <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. Do the do number four, and then I'm going to call on someone. Okay, go. Continue okay. With number four. Again. That silly monster can't hardly threaten anyone. Okay, which one can or can't? Can't. Ah. Oh. No. Okay. Uh, does someone have something different? I had Ken. Ken, okay. We have Ken too. Okay, Ken is correct. Why? Why? Por qué no es Ken? Because after Ken, you say hardly frequent. Okay. And okay, very good. You have here the word hardly. Hardly is a negative word, all right? It's really expressing something. Difficilmente. Exactly, right? So you cannot use can't with hardly. It's can hardly, all right? And I will show you. I will show you here in a minute, all right? So very good. It's can. Number four is can. Okay, now number five. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. I can try. Okay. I haven't ever seen a monster. I haven't? Ever. Okay. Very good. Continue. Do me, give me one more. Number okay. six. The oldest monster didn't have any teeth. Very good. Excellent. All right. Perfect. Next to um, somebody raised their hand right here. Janari, was that you? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. The number seven, yeah. right? The monsters, the monster could barely see through the thick green fog. Okay, could. Could. Okay. Could. Very good, excellent. Number eight. And the baby monster can't walk anywhere. Anywhere, very good. Anywhere, perfect, perfect. Okay, the last two. Um, I'm going to call on uh, Jarvin. I haven't heard you, Jarvin. Okay, sure. Number nine. I can barely see at night. Okay, this one or this one? Can. I can. Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. That is correct. I can barely, barely. Very good. Continue. Number 10, that monster didn't give out any candy for Halloween. <laughs> Very good. Any candy for Halloween. 
All right, great. This was just a, a diagnostic evaluation, right? And remember that when you have words like barely and hardly, when you have all these adverbs, in their negation, they you do not push you do not use negatives, all right? You do not use negatives. You do not use negatives with words like barely, barely or hardly. All right? But we're going to continue with some more practice. With some more practice. Thank you for your participation. And now let's go to Let's go here. No. Nah. Let's go here. I have a little bit more information here. Okay. Now, look at here, uh, Diana. Okay. Can you read, please? Adverbs. Diana? Are you in class? Okay. Yes. Uh, can yes. You? Okay. Sorry. Okay. I have to read yes, the please. adverbs. Yes. Adverbs of frequencies such as hardly, scarcely, rare, rarely, barely, seldom have a negative meaning. They are used without not. Oh, Very that's hard. why. Yes. All right. Oh. So when you when I showed you these barely and all these hardly. These are already in, in negation, so you mm -hmm. do not use a negative. You use the positive word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I use the can't. Exactly. All right. So that's why I wanted you to read this. As you can see, can you read the example? I can't. Yes, I can't barely walk in these new shoes. But the correct is I can barely walk in this shoe in these new shoes. Very good. As you can see, this is a perfect example. All right. When you have adverbs of frequency, uh, such as hardly, scarcely, rarely, barely, seldom, then you have a negative meaning within the word. Therefore, por lo cual, you do not use not. You do not use not. No se utiliza not. For example, here, I can't barely. No, I can barely because the word is in negative. And this is what we call double negative. A eso no que nos referimos con la doble negatividad. It's not accepted in the English language. All right? It's not accepted. It's accepted if you use other words, but not, not and no or nowhere or nothing. Those are totally incorrect. But let's go back here. All right. I wanted to show you this to expand, to expand your knowledge. Now let's go to the book. All right. That was just something extra. Let's go to the book. Let's go to your manual. Um, Rolando. How to how, how to avoid double negative. Look at examples in the box. Then complete the, ex the exercise below. Two negatives in a sentence are considered ungrammatical in English. Mm, un, ungrammatical. Un, ungrammatical in English. Very good. The, rec the, rec the recommendation is to avoid using them since the result is that a statement like I don't know nothing could be interpreted different as I do know something. Okay, very, very good. So it could be misinterpreted. All right. When you say, I don't know nothing, right? You could be saying, hmm, you probably know something, right? Because mm -hmm. you're using two negations, right? You're like, no, no, eh, eh, como que se cancelan. They, they kind of like cancel each other out. Mm -hmm. And sometimes a person can be saying, okay, entonces si sabe algo o no sabe. There's a confusion, all right? 
So try not to use two negatives in the sentence because you are going to confuse either the reader, si usted está escribiendo algo, if you're writing something, you can confuse the reader or you can confuse the listener, the person that is listening to you. Okay, when you start talking, I don't know nothing, right? Or me know nothing, right? And then you're like, hmm, it shows your lack. I say, muestra la falta de gramática. The lack of gr in Spanish, that, in Spanish is the same. In Spanish, yes, you could use it, but in English, mm, not so much. No, 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 you cannot use in Spanish too. Okay, that's good. Cool. Okay, very good. Can you give us an example? Because you, if you say, if you say, um, in Spanish, nas, nada sé, no es lo mismo que no sé nada, son diferentes, no puedo decir no sé nada, o sea, nada okay. sé. Very good, very good, thank you Juan José, very good. As you can see, he says that even in Spanish, even in Spanish you cannot do it, right? That's what, uh, according to what Juan José just gave us an example. Thank you Juan José, All right? So in Spanish, it, it's not used, right? And uh, Juan Jose gave us the example, but in English, in English, it can give a, a a different a different perspective in the English language, right? So now, can you read, please? Mm. Go ahead, Juan Jose. Since you have the microphone on, please read. Contrast. Um, contrast. Mm -hmm. Um, read the, um, we don't publish nothing. Mm -hmm. Um, unrelated to the benefit of our product. Okay. We don't publish anything unrelated to the benefit of our product. Very good. Very good. Anything, anything, not no, anything that has a negative here of not, you cannot use words like nothing, all right? You have to use anything. We okay. don't publish anything. Very good, Juan Jose. Very good. So this is the correction, all right? The contrast. Flor, can you do the next one, please? Thank yes. you. Yes. The company didn't get no additional sales after the event. The correct is the company didn't get any additional sales after the event very good perfect right although remember here is in past in past aunque sea el pasado it still applies right any not no any you substitute no i'm sorry you substitute any with no okay did it and here's past tense all right past tense Simple past. Now, uh, please continue, um, Miguel. Okay. The expert never said nothing about the drastic change of image in our product. The correct answer is the expert never said anything about the drastic change of image in our product. Okay, very good. So here, we we have never right never is a negative word so we do not use nothing we use anything after it okay anything any now look at this part right here number five can you read please um francisco correct okay Correct the only negative mistake in each sentence. 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 Very good. All right. Can you read the first one, please? Okay, number one. The department doesn't know uh, nothing about branding. Ah, okay. Now here, what I, what what is what he's asking is to correct the double negative mistake in a sentence. Okay. So you have to write the complete sentence here. Aquí sí porque la, el, es la book. So can Francisco, can you do the first one? 
What, what Sorry, would, teacher. What would be the correct way to say it? The department does not uh, about the branding. Okay. About okay. this branding, no. Okay. Okay, uh, can someone help Francisco? Uh, Janari? The department oh, doesn't know anything, anything. about branding. Anything, anything, very good. Anything okay. about, remember you have to correct it, about branding. All right, very good. So we take out, quitamos que? Nothing, right? And we put anything, anything about branding. Very good. All right, I'm going to give you a few minutes. And now that I gave you more examples and I gave you a little bit of practice, I want you to do number two, three, four, and five. Remember, in these, you have to write the complete sentence. Complete sentence. Remember to look at the examples at the beginning if you have doubts. Right, we just did these examples where it says contrast. Look at the examples to help you. Okay, Freddy's. Very good. Janari. Very good, Janari. No problem, Freddy.
Ok, Iris. Very good. Okay, Carlos, I sent you the observation, okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Remember, try to look at the examples. Look at the examples up here, okay? No todas llevan anything, okay? Not all of them are anything, 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 okay? Try to look at the examples here. When do you use anything and when do you use any, okay? Esta la clave. That's your, that's your key there. Okay, Jennifer. Okay, very good. Thanks. All right. Okay, I will check them. Okay, I, I want someone to participate here and give me number two. Me? Then, oh. Okay. Go ahead, Ben. <laughs> okay. The manager never tell us anything about the plans to improve the brand of the business. Okay. Never tells us. Never tells us what? Anything about the plans to improve the brand of the business. All right. So this is what this is what I'm going to do. So I won't be writing everything again. I'm going to so be anything. Right? Tell us anything about the plants. Very good, very good. And then we take out what? What is nothing here, right? We take out nothing. All right. And then we substitute with anything. Very good. The next one, number three, uh, Flor. I don't have anything against billboards, but the truth is they are too expensive. Okay. So we substitute nothing and then we add anything, right? Okay, very good. So we take out nothing and we substitute it with anything. Very good. Jennifer, can you do number four? Yes, teacher. We didn't get an increase in sales after advertising on Facebook. We didn't what? Can you repeat it? We didn't get any very good increase in sales after advertising on Facebook. Okay, so we eliminate no and then we add any right very good 
any. We eliminate no, any. Right? Así como está en el ejemplo aquí arriba. Right? We have the no here. We have any. Right? We have nothing. We substitute with nothing. Very good. Um, Blanca. Me. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Rolando. Sorry. Because... Okay, Blanca. Do it. Hello, Blanca. Blanca, Blanca. Yeah, I, I thought that, that I was with the microphone on. Uh, okay, go ahead. The customers don't want any change in price. Very good. So we substitute no and we put any. Any. Very good. Any. Perfect. The customers don't want any change in prices. Very good, very good. Um, remember, this is just more, more knowledge with using, a, avoid using negatives. Avoid using negatives. Now, all you had to do was look at the examples up here, and that would, that would have helped you analyze this um, sentence. All right, so those are the answers. If you want to write them down, please do so. And it's clear on drawings. And I'm going to click here. Now, for tomorrow, we're going to do this activity, okay? We are going to do this activity and we are going to do some other activities and uh, uh, some speaking activities that I'm going to put you in groups. And we are also going to do page, um, the last page, which is page 40, page 40 for tomorrow. So be ready for that one, page 40 for tomorrow. And we will do this activity that you see here also, all right? Can someone just do number one, just to practice? Can someone uh, rewrite this each sentence by correcting the double negative and retaining? Retain. In this moment? Yeah, just number one. Maria and Brad hardly do meet each other. Okay. Very good. Hardly do meet each other, right? Very good. Very good. This is what we're going to do tomorrow. Can we yeah. say... Can we say, uh -huh. go ahead. Can, we, can we eliminate it? Do you say Maria and Brad hardly meet each other? Exactly. That's what yes. I was going to say. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I was thinking. Yeah, I was just going to say that there are two ways, right? Sometimes you can omit because those like, yeah, it, it can be omitted. Right? Yeah. So you can do it both ways, right? You can do it both ways. You can do it the way Blanca just did it. And you can do it the other way also, all right? This is a little bit more challenging, all right? Because there are two different ways of doing sentences when omitting two negatives. And we will do this tomorrow, okay? Maria and Bradley hardly meet each other. That's totally correct, right? Because you have meet here, all right? You have a, a, a verb, all right? We also, you have do here. That is also a verb, hardly do be, but you can omit it. Okay, Freddy's, excellent, excellent. And Blanca, excellent also, because you are correct also. So we're going to look at okay. two different ways. We're going to look at two different ways to omit two negatives and sound and, and sound very, very professional when using the, when correcting negatives when you're speaking the English language. All right, that is for tomorrow. This is going to be for tomorrow. So we will do that at the beginning of the class tomorrow. And I'm going to do the final attendance. Okay. I hope I hope that by today everyone finishes, okay? 
Espero que para hoy todos hayan terminado la plataforma. Um, earlier, there were three. Eran tres que quedaban. Espero que ya no haya ninguno. Right? By tomorrow. Let me... Let me see something. Voy a actualizar. Going to... To see if... If there are still people here, yes. All right, let me see. None on this page. Yeah, one. Okay. Okay, two. I have two. Yeah, ahora son dos, no son tres. There are two. All right. And I'm going to. Let me see. One. Let me just verify this. Okay, great. Okay, there are only two, only two people, and I'm going to say the names. Okay, Rolando and Brenda. Please complete the um, the platform. I hope you can finish it by today, so I can send your grades. Okay, I can send your grades. So those are the only two that are missing the platform. Uh, the final exam and the homework number four. All right. Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. Beatriz. Present. All right, thank you. Blanca. Present. All right. Uh, Brenda. Okay. Carlos. Carlos. I'm present. Thank you. Diana. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Present, teacher. All right, great. Flor. Present. Okay, thank you. Francisco. Present, teacher. All right, great. Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you. Glenda. Present teacher. Okay, Iris. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie. Present. Okay, awesome. Jarvin. Present teacher. Okay. Jennifer. Present. Okay. Juan Jose. Juan Jose. Okay, no answer. Uh, Miguel? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Fabio? Fabio? Okay, no answer. Rolando? Hi, hi. All right. And Janari? I'm here. All right, great. All right. <laughs> okay, class, the person that stays today is uh, Brenda. So, Good night, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow we're going to do practice and finish page 40. Take care and be ready for tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Thanks, teacher. Good, Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi. Thank you. All right. No problem. Bye, Diana. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> <I'm awkward. laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have a good All right. day. All right, you too. Have a Goodbye. good day. Bye. Have a nice night. All right, you too. Bye, Mike. Bye, bye, Fernando. Uh, bye, bye. <laughs> All right. Hello, Brenda, can you hear me?
Well, if you can hear me, I hope you're feeling better.